everyone, my name's George and today we're going to learn a bit about British pronunciation. First of all, have a look at these words and think about how you pronounce them. At school, you probably learnt bitter, butter, water, bottle. This t sound is called the hard T. But in the UK, we have two different ways of pronouncing the T. Have a listen to how this man pronounces the same words. This T sound is called the glottal T or the glottal T and it's used across the UK. So how can we make it? Well, it's produced in your throat or throat. So let's compare that word throat with throw. Throw has a nice O sound, throw. But when we say throat, we stop that O sound with our throat. Throat, O, O, throat, throw, throat. Throat. Nowadays, British people tend to use both glottal T's and hard T's when they speak, but there are still some rules for when you can't use glottal T's. For example, listen to how this person incorrectly pronounces the word taste. And what are you going to do for us today? I'm going to pronounce one word. Ace. Ace. I'm sorry, Jeff, but it seems that you pronounce taste incorrectly. Rule number one, don't start a word with a glottal T. So, for example, you can't say aced, it doesn't work. You need to use a hard T, you need to say taste. Rule number two, don't use a glottal T after an unvoiced consonant. So, in the case of taste, S is unvoiced because you can't feel the vibration in your throat when you make a s sound. Whereas if you make a z sound, z, you can feel the vibration here. So it's taste. It's not essential to use the glottal T, but it is useful to be aware of it, particularly when you come to the UK and you talk to native speakers. Anyway, that's all we have time for today. If you enjoyed the lesson, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.